Happy New Year. Thank you guys so much for joining me. We have a 30 minute full body workout. You will need a sturdy chair without arms and some weights, a variety of dumbbells. This is going to be a beginner friendly interval based workout, 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, very appropriate for someone who's new to exercise or seniors because the chair is gonna be available for you for every movement. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, let's warm it up. March in place, March. March. Now here's your option. If you're gonna use the chair, seated March. So choose, okay? Up or down, pump your arms. Get your knees up. Make sure your room is clear. So you have room to step to the right, to step to the left. Tap right, reach across. Here we go, tap, reach, reach. If you're in the chair, like here, you're right here. Okay, so I wanna make this workout accessible to anybody who might be just starting out, building their stamina. All right, let's do some little heel digs. Right, left, swing the arms, right, left. And if you're standing, you know what to do. Swing, swing. Wake up the shoulders, chest up, smile, it's gonna be a good workout. All right, march it out, big reach up, inhale. Exhale, blow it out, circle, reach up. And I'm gonna kind of flow between the two options of standing or seated. So I don't have somebody here to demonstrate my modifications. Tap right, reach right arm across, go, tap, tap. On the edge of the seat if you're seated. Spine is long, reach for the corner. Eight more. If you're standing, you could do whatever you want. Reach across, four, three, swing those heels. Let's go, right, left. Nice soft knee, lift the chest. Good, so I just wanna get your heart rate up, get things pumping. One more. Okay, reach up, both arms overhead. And then pull it down, exhale down. Now you can kind of quiet the legs down a little bit here and start to separate them. Two more. One more. We're gonna stay out in a T. Two crisscrosses in front. Two, one, open. Two, one, open. And if you're seated, just quiet the legs. Stamp the feet down. Two, one, open. Okay, we're getting ready to do some swimmers. Circles, both arms alternate right here. Right, left. Now, this is why you can't have arms on your chair. If you do have arms on your chair, you gotta get up for this one, okay? Belly button in. There's a lot of reasons why. We don't need the arms on the chair for this workout. Go the other way, reverse. This was a little more gentle, but you can make this as hard of a workout as you'd like it to be. Get some blood in those shoulders. Yep, three, two. Shrug and release right here. Shrug, release. Shrug, release. So this would be like a really great functional workout for older adults or beginners to fitness. Two, and twist it. Right, left, rotate off that heel, twist. Okay, we're gonna head into our first movement, which is a sit to stand. Make sure there's nothing in front of your chair. You got about 10 seconds. I'll demonstrate what you're gonna do. Hands off the chair, push into both heels, come up, and then just tap your butt down, okay? Three. Two, let's go. Lift, tap down, tap down. Okay, now if you're new to fitness and this is a lot, go slower, take a break, or you could use your hands on your thighs if you need to. But the goal is no hands, tap and lift, sit to stand. Very functional, okay? Every time you get out of a chair, you're doing this exercise. Keep going, please. Now, if you're like, hey, you know what? I'm really good at these. You can load these up. Weights on the shoulders next time. Good. Maybe a little bit of a less weight in that tap down on the chair, right back up. That would make it more challenging. Come on, three, two, and rest. Calf raises, come on up to the back of the chair. We're gonna go to our tippy toes, popping off the heels. Fingers on the chair for support. So the wider your base is, the easier it is. Feet together will be harder. And we go, lift up, lower down. If you're pretty stable, hands off the chair. Hands on hips. Good, good, press into the balls of the feet, come back down. Lift and lower. These first few movements, they're body weight only. 
And you could make this workout entirely body weight. You don't have to add the weights. That's just for a little more resistance to kind of help pull a little more from your muscles and to create more change. Good. Soft knees. Last hands on the chair, right? Last hands. You do one finger, two fingers. We're working the balance a little bit. Five seconds. And we rest. Okay, speaking of balance, here it comes. We're gonna stand on one leg. Let's do right leg out to the side. Stand on your left leg. You're just gonna abduct without tipping over. Less hands, but first find your balance. Two and one. Here we go. Out and in. So maybe you go to one hand on the chair. One finger on the chair. Or no hands. Out and in right there. Excellent. So this is a great exercise for working your stabilizers in your hips. Try to shine your toes forward so that the outer edge of your foot, pinky toe side, is lifting over halfway. Good. So I hope you set some good New Year's resolutions this year for 2024. I know I have a few in my book. You don't want to set too many, though. It's overwhelming to try to change everything at once. Just do a few. Three, two, and rest. Do a little mark if you need it. We're going to switch legs. I'm going to turn a little bit for the camera. Stand on your right leg. Left leg to the side. Abduct. Shoulders down your back so that everything's stacked and lined up. Soften your standing leg. And we lift. Let's and down. Get some sun, baby. It's time now chest. See if you can do less hands on the chair. Or less fingers on the chair. Pick a spot. Focal point. Stare at it. There you go. <laughs> you might have one side that you're a little more stable on. Very common. Be aware. Oh my gosh, did you hear that weird like robot sound in the music? It's our internet, I swear. Something's going on with our internet. Good last step. I don't think the artist put that in the song. <laughs> last six, come on. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and grab a single dumbbell. I'm going to go with a 15 pound today. You're new to exercise. Grab something lighter. You could do this with no weight as well. Let's step the right leg back. Right hand on the chair. Roll your shoulders down your back. Your left hand is going to pull up to the rib and back down. Ready? Here we go. Pull it up. Release it down. The chair is there for support. Let me turn to the side so you can see spinal alignment here. Like a bike ramp, right? Nice long line. Options. If you're new to exercise, in that chair, on the edge of the seat with your right hand on your right thigh, pulling up to the rib cage, back down. So it's the same arm movement either way. It just depends on if you're standing or if you're in a lunge stance. Sorry, if you're standing or if you're seated. Good, good, good. Squeeze between those shoulder blades. It's a posture exercise. You don't have to go on the beat. And rest. Switch legs, switch arms. If you're standing with me, you'll just take the other side lunge. So it'll be left leg back. Left hand on the chair, tip to me, and you're pulling. If you're seated, left hand on your thigh, tip to me, and we're pulling. Ready? Let's go. On. Pull. Release. Pull. Release. Rows are such a good exercise. They squeeze the muscles that help hold your shoulders back all day. They give you a little more endurance that you can have better posture for longer without getting fatigued. Check on the neck, okay? So you want to have a nice neutral neck. No crunching in the shoulders. What the hell am I doing this one? <laughs> Which leg have you? This leg back. There we go. Good. I hope that you had your legs in the right position. Here it comes. And rest. Okay, we got a reverse lunge. So stand up if you were seated. Let's rack it. You're gonna take your outside leg, the one farthest from the chair, back, and then step back in. You can hold the chair for support or not, your choice. Ready? And we go. Reverse lunge. Back in, hold the chair if you're feeling a little unstable. If racking it is too much, you can hold it on one side. Either way, the point here is as you're asymmetrically loaded, here's your down level. No weight, just body weight. 
using the chair as much as you need. Very customizable and a super functional exercise, okay? You gotta be able to bend those knees. They get upstairs, over curb, out of bed, right? Really important, let's strengthen those muscles. And if you can, work the balance, work the stability. There you go. I probably should put preview windows in this workout because my queuing is just like not good. Okay, switch, <laughs> other side. All right, other leg, other arm. Use the chair if you need it. It's gonna be the leg farthest from the chair. The steps back and come back in. Here we go. Three, two, on. Now you know your options, okay? You can have it by your side. Fighting gravity, because it wants to pull you sideways. Fight it. You could do no weight, body weight only, using the chair for support. Or you could do with no, no hands, right? Like balance work right there. Important here, because you push through all four corners of this front foot. Big toe, ground it. Pinky toe, pushing down too. Heel heavy. Good. Here's the end of this one. I know this one's tough. And rest. We have Statue of Liberties. Grab your lighter weight. I'm going with my eight. Okay, so let's go ahead and turn to the side. Or whatever. So that your inside hand touches the chair. Your inside leg's gonna lift up with your outside arm. Creating that Statue of Liberty. Ready? Here we go. Up and down. Overhead press with a little knee pickup right there. Option, I'm gonna turn to the front. Option, no chair, just balance. See if you can try to shift as little as possible as you pick up the knee. Stabilize. You see it, right? The little Statue of Liberty pose right there. Over halfway, hold the chair if you need it. If you don't need it, try floating the arm out. If you don't have a chair, some of this you could just use the wall for support, right? Use a wall, a table, a bench. And rest. Not very much though, because we're gonna switch to the other side. Same weight in the second hand, unless you have an injury. Other leg, opposite arm, opposite leg. Use the chair, stand up tall. So it's gonna be inside knee, outside arm. Here we go. And pick it up. Back down control. Do as little shifting as possible. So your midsection, torso, is staying pretty quiet as you lift those limbs up. Good, good. Come on, let's finish this. Getting some stability work in along with the shoulder. Woo, this is my wobbly side. I need it. Try to keep the chin parallel to the floor. Softening the neck here, out of your traps. Last 10. Pick a, stop, a spot to stare at so you don't fall over. And we rest. Okay, we're headed to our bicep curls. Grab something heavier. You can always, always do this on the edge of your seat if you need a little break for your lower body. Curl from a seated position. If you wanna stay standing, go ahead. Ready, we curl. Up and down. In four, three, two. Four, three, two. Palms are up. Resist the weight down. If you are seated, make sure your feet are fully planted to the floor. Chest is up, keep going. Up, two, three. Down, two, three. Up. And lower. I have to get back to the middle of my space. Squeeze. Okay, we're almost to the halfway point in the workout. Remember your why. Here it comes, three, two, and rest. Okay, we have a weighted twist, so if you're standing, keep your feet nice and wide. You can go ahead and peel each opposite heel up. If you're seated, you're just gonna rotate the torso. My standards, pivot. Okay, here we go, we're on. 45, twist and push, twist and push. Now, if you're like, Tara, you know, this weight's a little too heavy. Grab a lighter weight, or just really squeeze. 
and work the movement. Pushing the arms to the opposite corner. Keep going. I'm going to get lighter. Speaking of way too heavy. How about me? <laughs> Twist. Okay, we're on the edge of the seat. If you're seated, if you're standing, let that rotation happen at the ribs. Middle spine twist. Push away. Excellent. We do need a lighter weight for this next move. It's our tricep kickback from the chair. who will look like this. Kick it back. That's why you can't have arms on your chair. If you're gonna stand, let's tip forward. Take your inside hand to the seat and pull the outside hand up. We're gonna kick it back right here. Here we go. Two and on. Kick back. Release. Kick it up. Slow down. The back heels lifted. The back toes tucked. Eyes on the ground so that your neck's in neutral once you know what we're doing. I'm gonna show you that chair version again. So if you're in the chair, you are tipping. Hailing your thigh for support. And if you are a regular subscriber, let me know if the music and mic balance is better in this video. Because I got a new piece of equipment and I haven't figured it out yet. Working on it. It's a Christmas present. Me. Come on, three. Two. Whatever weight you did for the first arm, do the same weight for the other arm so you have this option, right? Picking back or turn, face the other direction. Use the seat of your chair like it's a bench. Take that inside hand down. Outside hand pulls up. Shoulder the head into its pocket. Take it back. Here we go. Slow. Try not to use momentum. I know a lot of times when I teach this one in the class, I see a lot of swinging, which takes your tricep out of the game. Keep the elbow up. Work the back of that arm right here. And so I'm gonna demonstrate both options, but you stay with the one that's working for you. So I'm kinda of teaching to lots of different people here. So if this is you, pick up your torso, press into your left, sorry, your right hand, the one that's on your thigh. Push. Belly button is pulled up off the thigh, so you have a nice long spine. And we rest. All right, side bends. Grab weights for both hands. Standards. Here. Here. Seated. Here, okay? You choose. I'm gonna get heavier. Oh, I could do it. Ready? And side bend. Side. Side. Work the waist. It's called lateral flexion. Side. Uh-huh. Belly button in. And try to keep your chest up. I'm gonna show both versions. Uh-huh. You got this. So if you wanted to, you can do this without a weight at all. Just work range of motion. This is an important movement. Think about if you put something down on the floor, you need to pick it up, right? Lean over off the couch, pick up something. Let's get even on both sides. And rest. I had to do one more to get even. All right, get those lighter weights out here. We're gonna go palms face up, and it's gonna be a front raise here. Back down, elbows are soft from the chair, looks like this. Same thing, ready? We're on, go. Lift, back down. If you don't have weights today, and you're just thinking about if you had like a heavy tray, you're gonna lift it up. Chest is lifted. If you're standing, soften those knees. Tailbone under. There you go. Top of the shoulder there. Anterior deltoids. There you go, come on, over halfway. Do it for 2024 you, okay? It's gonna be a good year. You're gonna put that work in right now up front, investing in your health. Here's the last three, two, and rest. Options, if you're standing and new to deadlifts, just shave the leg, send the hips back, slide up. If you're seated, hands behind your ears. Good mornings. Push it up. If you want to add weights, you're welcome to. Weights by your thighs, shoulders down your back. Here we go. We hinge. So you got a couple options. So this is like a weighted option standing. You could do the good mornings from the chair. Tip it. Push through both feet. Rise up. Working posterior chain. Keep those elbows wide. 
For my standards who want a heavier weight, more challenge, do it, okay, do it. Back body work. Just kind of like you're sliding knuckles down the thighs. Belly button in. A hip hinge is another important movement. But if you have low back pain, don't load it, okay? You just work on good, good posture on the way down and the way up. Here it comes. And we rest. Okay, lateral raises. Definitely your lighter, lighter ones. Straight arms out to the side. If you'd like, from the edge of your seat, totally fine. Or you could stand. Ready? We're on. Out. Slow, slow. So this workout is going to get your heart rate up, but it's not really a cardio workout. It is meant for muscular endurance, maybe some muscular strength. It's functional too. A lot of things that you just need to make life easier. Put that work in right now so that when you need those things in your life, you can call upon them and they are there. Wrists are straight. Last five. One more. Get it in. Now rest. Okay, we got a weighted punch right here. Okay, so we're gonna go about elbows 90, thumbs are up. If you're on the chair, feet apart so that you can twist safely for your mid back. If you're standing, go ahead and pivot. Here we go, and on. Punch it, punch. Okay, so you're keeping biceps under an isometric contraction, top of the shoulder the shoulder. We add a little twist in there. Obliques. Do you, okay? Options, if you don't want to use weights today, you're just pushing and make that squeeze really happen from the obliques. Right there, come on. Uversio. A little better than last time. Just a little bit, 1%. That's gonna add up over the course of 52 weeks. And rest. Oh boy, here we go. Okay, overhead presses with a tricep extension. So chair version. Right here. Or standing version. Maybe you just put one foot back so that you don't overarch the back. You can press overhead. And the elbows. Here we go, we're on. Let's go. Overhead. Back down. Now if two weights is too much, Options, just do a single dumbbell, holding the heads of the dumbbell in both hands. Ribs to rib, okay, so don't flare the ribs. And I love that thought. 1% better, because that seems doable, right? 1%? So maybe you don't lift 1% heavier every time. Well, maybe you improve your form 1% or your mindset. Focus. Could be that you hydrate better, whatever your 1% is. And rest. Okay, we got oblique crunches, head to the back of your chair. You'll need it for balance, or maybe, maybe you won't. I'm gonna turn to the side so you can see. So inside leg is the balance leg. Inside hand, use the chair. Overhead, we're just gonna pull it in and down. Here we go. And on, I'll crunch it. Up, down. Now if you're feeling good, let go of that chair. There if you need it, okay? Side body squeeze. Notice the more you practice, the less you need that chair for balance moves. And that's a 1% improvement, right? When you can just put less weight on this inside hand. Over halfway. Squeeze the waist, please. There you go. Finish what you started. Squeeze. Oh, those are hard. <laughs> All right, switch it. If you were just turning the other way, go ahead and turn the other way. Because I'm facing the camera, I'm going to move the chair. But you could just flip yourself around. Inside leg is your new balance leg. Set it up. Toe knee, same line. Inside hand, grab the chair. Here we go. Overhead pull. Up and down. Really light on this outside foot. Just tap it down. There you go. And test your balance on this side. How's it doing? 
You were almost done, baby. Come on, finish it. This is my good side, apparently. I need less chair. And you notice too, where are you? On the side. Here we go. Last 10 seconds. You only have three more moves. And they're all body weight things. With options, two and one. My standards who have excellent balance, you're just gonna do an opposite elbow, opposite knee standing crunch bicycle. Seated option, same thing. Opposite elbow, opposite knee crunch. Sit up tall, ready? Here we go, bicycles. Now, you can play with both versions. Of course, I would love if you do this workout more than once. Maybe first time you're in the chair, a lot of the workout, and that's okay. And then next time you're out of the chair a little more. Don't let what you can't do stop you from doing what you can do. And I know so many of you who are on my channel are already like that. I'm preaching to the choir. Squeeze it. 10 seconds. Now this one's not about speed, it's about control. Try to twist to the midsection here. Obliques. And rest. Quad kick out. So if you're seated, come all the way to the edge of the chair. You're going to extend your right leg and put it back down. Well, maybe, maybe don't put it down. If you're standing, use that chair for a little support. Ready? Here we go. Kick it out. Quad extension. Out. In. You don't have to stand. And you don't have to keep it up. You can just kick and put it down. I'm gonna go back to the chair just to show you the other version. You do you, okay? The important part, squeeze the top of the thigh, chest up, chin on a shelf. Working that posture, I'm still sore from whatever I did on New Year's Eve. I don't remember, it was a live class. <laughs> Woo, I love teaching fitness though because it does motivate me to work harder than I'm comfortable doing. Like, I probably would have stopped about four seconds ago. And rest. <laughs> but because I'm here with you, I kept going. Switch legs, so it's just the other leg. If you're standing, turn the other direction. If you're seated, just lift the other leg. I'm gonna show both options. How do I do this? Yeah, this way, here we go. <laughs> Hold on, we're kicking. Extend, top of the thigh. Be proud of yourself. Okay, even if you chose the chair version of most of the exercises, that is a victory, my friends. But the chair version, <laughs> it's not like a baby chair workout, okay? It's, it's kind of a tough workout, either version that you chose. Keep it up there. Very little rest and a lot of movement, no repeats. Belly button in, keep that spine long. Try not to round. <sighs> Here it is, come on. Five, three, two, yeah! <laughs> oh my goodness, shake it out. Do a little windshield wiper if you're in the chair. If you're not in the chair, you can just do a little twist. Side to side. Nice job. All right, my friends, let's cool things down. Seated or standing, doesn't matter. Standers, you'll just kick your right leg to me, heel down, toe up. Seated, same thing, but glutes on the chair. Hands on your thigh. Keep it forward. You reach for that toe. Stretch your hamstring. Three, two, switch other side. So option in the chair looks like this. Option out of the chair. You know it. Just that classic tip forward. Send the glutes back. Stretching your hamstring. And release, if you're standing, just step one leg back. If you're seated, turn your toes to the right. Stretch your front leg back. So option A, option B. Stretching out that hip flexor. I have a lot of room in here. I'm like kicking my dumbbells. Good, release, and we'll switch. Swivel your toes the other direction, or if you're standing, just step the other leg back. Hip flexor stretch. Earned it. It's 
this is kind of an experiment, this workout, this video that I'm putting out to see if, if there's a market for chair-based fitness classes. Come back in, stand or sit, tall spine, right arm, left shoulder. Whichever version you chose, you have good posture right now. The back of the shoulder stretch. Same arm, sweep it over, hand to your hip, and then side stretch here. If you're in the chair, you can hold the edge of your seat for support. And switch left arm to your right shoulder. Back of the shoulder stretch. So let me know by liking, commenting, sharing, engaging with this so that I can know if I should make more chair workouts, because I can. Release it, hand up, use the chair or use your hip for support as you take that side stretch. Those lateral bends right there we did, stretch them out. And release, take both arms up, inhale. Interlace your fingers, press your palms overhead. Stretch those shoulders, either version, up or down. Take the head in your hands, elbows back, open the chest. Breathe. Blow it out, exhale and release. Nice workout today, team. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed. Let me know, and I'll see you in the next one.